the first thing he does is to blister the stems, and that's easiest to do if you plunk the chilies into a fryer basket. Drop them into the hot oil and then put another basket on top to keep them submerged. After about a minute or so, they'll be completely blistered all the way around. You let them cool a little bit, rub off that skin, cut a slit in the side, and then get all the seeds out from inside them. Now they're ready to stuff. We use two different fillings, cheese and a shredded pork picadillo. You'll notice how Richard fills them and then flattens them slightly on a baking sheet. We put them into a freezer to firm here while we're preparing the batter. Now the first thing Richard's doing is to beat egg whites with a good pinch of salt until they hold very stiff teeth. Then gently fold in, we just use the same whisk attachment, but do this by hand, some egg yolks and some flour. And when the chilies are firm, take them out of the freezer, dip them thoroughly through the batter, and then lay them into that hot oil. It's easiest if you'll dip them in on both sides so you start to cook the batter on both sides at the same time. Baste them gently with a little bit of oil. Turn them after three or four minutes. they will be golden and beautiful. Perfect served over a brothy roasted tomato sauce with a fresh garnish like sunflowers.